Hi everyone! So, today I'm gonna open the box haul from Butium. This is my second one. So, let me say something. Butium is just a big show for you guys, and they have a lot of cosmetics, a lot of products. So, if you guys to pick up, you can check it out the page. I've left the link below. So, let's start. This is the June 2018 must have item. This one is Campbell Tea. This is an eyeliner from Japan. You can see the packaging. So, so Japan. Comics drawing all of that. It's just like a prince. With a long hand blonde comes out with the black eyeliner i honestly say i was try some japanese products kind of like this like mascara and eyeliner but it doesn't that what to prove it's okay and but it's not that what to prove you know what i mean let's go to the next one the next one is girl electric matte lip pen this look really pretty color inside this is number dimmer okay um smell it's similar as the long crime matte lipstick also it's just sweet like some cakes and cupcakes this is swatch it like a little purple but it's still still look pretty and i think it's still on my skin too okay dimmer pretty and the texture i can say is so soft so soft good i actually can wear in this every day and the next one is my mim I mean, I guess this is a cream for taking on your body. They say they can like get you your skin looking brighter and look really flawless. So I will try to swatch on my hands a little bit. We will see. This is packaging. Love it. Very cute. Okay, and the color is pretty much like a nude. I will take it on. It's exactly like a foundation. You guys think so? Oh, it smells so good. Oh, okay. Huh. Why does it look grey? I don't think color is suited me. They say they had six different shades. Better try the other one else, but this one is look grey. Is it grey? <laughs> it looks so grey, I'm sorry, but this is so grey. I don't know. I see the color in the tube, but it doesn't look white at all. But then I put it on, I think it's just some kind of pink. But it is not pink at all. It's grey. Totally grey. This is so grey for me. I don't think I love it. It's number three. It's already number three. I think number three is two dummy. What is it? No. Okay. Let's go. Seven day story mock set. They are for level eight. The brand is really hard to read and I don't know how to read this one. It's called L Affair. I think I, I read it correct and I saw so because it is L and Affair. And this is a my seven day story mock. Comes out with a red box like this. First that I got this one, I don't know what is it inside, so I opened it quickly and I got the book. Look at this. It is like a diary one because I had like a seven day chase over that. It's like you can put your plants on. You open it up. Surprise! Is this max? Like seven color. This pink one is for volcanic ash. This one is salmon cream. This one is V patch. This one is neck patch. This one is a little bio cellulose. And this aqua. This is black aqua. This is black bean hydrogel. And they had the how to. Every single pad they had like how to use it and where it's from, what it's made from. But it's all Korean. <laughs> you guys really think I don't understand Korean? Alright, but I don't mind. And they have eye cream. Like five of them. And someone night cream and a peeling gel and the other instructions for this. Yes, it look really pretty. I can say if you guys use all of this max patch, you still can keep this one at your fence and you can keep like your work, your paper inside after that. It's 1290 bucks. I think it's worth it. They gave a lot of juice, so many more skincare and I think it's worth it. I don't know, just only the books just look pretty, don't you think so? I better take it off. Okay, next one I'm going to draw on a set. They come out with powder, I think. This is number 3, so beige with a perfect pressed powder. It's made in USA. I think this packaging is reminding me for a uh, precision formula. This is your powder design, the packaging. I will not put it on now, but I will swatch So. I can say because my my skin is getting a little bit thinner after I got twice vacation and all the bits so it's still too white for me for now if I was trying it before I went to vacation maybe this color is really suit on me also this one too but it still look great <laughs> it's 
Joanna Modern Matte Lipstick But it doesn't look matte at all This, um, what's the color? Number 9, Matte Dare It seems matte, but the pigment? Not that expert Not like girl, but yeah, it's alright One is 52 Matte Orange Blossom Oh, it looks pretty so pretty, really pretty. I think I can wear this all day. Uh, 56 Matte Dali, Dahlia. It's bright red. A little bit pink when you swatch on. Three of them. I love the Matte Dali, the first one. I don't think it's suited from the tan, tan skin just like us, you know what I mean. Next one is a Melani set. It's including with concealer, perfect 2 in 1 foundation and concealer. And also the including with Melani. Emerald Matte Metallic Lip Cream Matte Metallic Lip Cream You said it's matte or lip cream, girl Matte and lip cream I don't think it's the same type of lipstick Alright, so this is the concealer and foundation This is number one, Creamy Vanilla I don't think I can wear this This is too white for me But I heard uh, the name of it is pretty long ago Because I was um, followed some rocker UK side and they say this one is really coverage and very matte and stay longer this is a more matte metallic lip cream I'm confused got number five the dramatic diva this one and number seven automatic touch this one I think it has more wearable color like nude or orange or kind of brown for Asian people like us because um, pretty much the purple tone. I don't think it's suit on the Asian skin at all. I don't, I don't think I'm wearing it, but I will try to wash it because I'm a little bit confused about matte and lip cream. This is doesn't should be the same type of lipstick. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. For me, I feel this is kind of creamy lipstick. I don't think this is matte because it seems really shy. And cheers for me. The next one is the number seven. Oh my god, girl. Oh, I think I can wear this one because it's darker than my skin. I think I think it can be look pretty, but I also don't wearing every day because first it's metallic, and second the color is too purple, and it smells it smells so weird. <laughs> it's like a pot stick. I don't know. I don't I don't into this shade, sorry. Maybe if you send me some nice or wearable color, maybe if you try it along my lips and show you guys how it's gonna be and is this work or not. But because the shade of it is a little bit look ridiculous, you know, so I don't let her to, to wear it now. I don't want to change my lips color for now. Okay guys, so one thing I can say about Melanie lipstick is so pigmented. So Difficult to clean it off. Oh, heading to other one quick because I don't want to take this video too long. This is Ashley eyebrow gel, and this number one latte. I love eyebrow gels. I think it's really sticking on you, like a lasting, really lasting. But the problem with the eyebrow gels is it's too dark, and this is hard to control the shade on your eyebrow. Okay, I think we'll try this one because I didn't wear any eyebrow makeup today. This is like a brush. I think it will be like, you know, at first I thought it's kind of like, you can draw it. If the girl, you don't have any eyebrow hair over there, so you can't use Ashley one because this is never work. Give me a soft, bright brown. Wow. Look pretty when you have like brighter hair. I think it's totally suit on you guys. The pigment head, so nice. I love it. It's easier to apply on. Okay, because you know, as far as my eyebrow is pretty much a black one because it's my uh, original hair kind of type. But now this is a brown one. It's bright brown, and my face look pretty much brighter. I like it. Wow, I like it. Great. Oh, I, I like it. This is Barney Suiting Gel. It the like a gel that you can adapt it on everywhere in your body, your face, your lips, your hands, your body, your legs, your back, even your hair. I heard someone use the Suiting Gel on the hair, and this is moisturizing. Some person that they had a, like a super dry hair, maybe Suiting Gel can help. But I never try. So maybe one day. But now my hair look okay, so I don't have to use the Suiting Gel on my hair for now. It's very big though, 289 baht. 
This is so nice. This is a make retouched base. I actually a little bit confused because I used to got like a base It's pretty much bigger size, kind of like this one Put the base on your face, it's just totally same size as the foundation But this is base with a tiny tiny bottle They say it's oil control it Blow your skin and look really flawless Put it on the wearing you have like the oil and you need to control your oily face And then your face is will uh, lasting longer with your foundation and everything else that you put it um, but I don't think so. Tiny. <laughs> I want to look like our last group. 320 baht. I think it's too much for the tiny bottle like this. It doesn't look worth it at all. And I don't know how long I can use this one to priming my face. Or we use this one to control my oily face. Because I don't know. I maybe use this like only two weeks and then the empty. The smell is just like it's like a kiss medicine. I bet something like NYX. This one is just a base and including the illuminating. And I'm really confused like which one you guys want to choose. If you guys walk into the tail then you see uh, two products. Which one you guys will pick up. For me, I will pick this one because it looks a little bit bigger and it looks worth it. But this one, I don't know what is it. I see the packaging it was like, this is glue eyelash, isn't it? It doesn't suit on people who are wearing so much makeup just like me. But if you guys um, want to keep your natural face, just let's worry about to all your face. So maybe this one will work for you, but for me, no. I'm sorry. I just be honest. The last one but not least, this is Mitsumi Extra Mall for Show Cleaner. But they say this used for sensitive skin. So I think I'm about to try this one. And this price is 190 baht for cleansing. Think about it. In case if it's for like a people who has so so much sensitive skin like me, maybe I will pay for it. But if it doesn't work, it's not worth it at all. The price, guys, it's almost 1000 baht. But before you got the cleanser, you have to apply it like a super deep cleanser. You know, it's like using water just like this. And it is like a last step before your face is cleaner. But how do you know this is exactly clean? Because it's for a sensitive skin. I don't know, I just see the price and I'm like, I'm just sure that it's worth it, but yeah, it's from Japan, it might be. For this clip video, I recommend for some products that I say I like it, I do like it, and some I tried it and it doesn't work for me. <laughs> if you home now buy some Beautrium, so you can go check it out because it has so much products over there and you will love to shop in that because I was shopping that so many times. And thank you so much to watch this video and hope you guys see you for next video for today. See ya! Bye!